Hey, hey, Intuitive Soul Tribe. Melissa, Intuitive Soul Coach here. Excited to bring to you today's collective reading where we dive into the energy of Saturn retrograde. Thank you so much for returning if you are coming back and welcome if you are new. These are general readings, so please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, beautiful souls. We hear a lot about Mercury going retrograde, but we rarely hear about the other planets. And Saturn is a big deal. So we're going to talk about that. Give that energy a little bit of love. Now, Saturn has been going retrograde in the sign of Pisces since June 17th and will last until November 4th. So if you are watching this during any of those months, this could be beneficial as we'll take a dive into what it means for each of you, each sign. We'll take a look at what it means collectively and how you can best embrace this energy. Now, the last time Saturn went retrograde in the sign of Pisces, which is the current sign that it is going through for the next three years, the last time was the mid 90s. Now, Saturn is a very strict very regime uh, planet. It has to do with debt, finances, committing yourself to your goals. It has to do with timing and data. This is a time to really sharpen our skills and bring in that sense of self-mastery. The tarot cards that come up when I tune into not just the Pisces energy, but Saturn as well, it almost seems like a little bit of a clash because Saturn is that energy, again, of logic and a go-getter. This is what I need to do. This is how to plan to make my my dreams a reality. And Pisces is more of that watery element of fantasy where Saturn can be reality. So you can see where it could clash and come together, especially during retrograde season. So this is a really a beautiful time to put in the work. It is time to make those dreams a reality. This is a time for maturity, maturity when it comes to finances, getting debt in order, getting career in order, relationships, health. It's a really powerful time for those that suffer from addictions. <clears throat> Now again, Saturn is going retrograde in Pisces for the next three years, starting here in 2023 until around February of 2026. Now it first began back in March of 2023. And so we're going into this three year cycle, which is very powerful, but it is back spinning here from again, the 17th of June to November 4th. And sometimes that can put a little bit of a pause on those dreams, on things that you're still working through. So for a lot of you, here it is as well, it's time to detox. And Saturn comes in and it's a really powerful energy. Saturn is quite powerful. We take a look at Saturn returns. You may have heard of Saturn returns. Uh, Saturn is very large and in charge, right? So I do feel here that this is a really powerful time for each and every one of us. And like I said, we'll go through uh, each sign specifically as well. You may wanna check out your rising sign and your moon sign, but we'll take a look on a collective, what this means for all of us as well. Now, Saturn is about structure setting healthy boundaries. Saturn also has everything to do with karma. So when it comes to politics, when it comes to global energies, we're already seeing shifts in the banking systems with digital currencies, uh, finances, structures. We're seeing all of this already. So it's no surprise that it's taking effect on a larger scale, but it is going to affect you personally as well. So let's just get a couple cards here couple more cards. I, I love this. And then we actually have a final card showing up here. There's your outcome. I love it. So let's see. So it talks about everything we've been talking about here. You got a lot. First and foremost, signs and symbols. 
Those of you that are connected and tuned into this reading, most likely you are a light worker, whether it is in the professional sense, but mostly all of you on the personal sense, you're a light worker. What that means is you've come here to lift and raise the vibration of the planet through personal and self-development and mastery with oneself, because when you heal, you raise the vibration of the planet. And this could be something that you are teaching others to do. You could be healing in any form, shape, size, fashion, whatever this is for you, but it starts within. Now pay attention here, beautiful ones, because spirit communication is strong at this time. A lot of you are receiving messages through numbers, number sequences. There is that 369 frequency that's been showing up more and more and more, and I believe that has to do with uh, Tesla, Tesla's teaching, Tesla's frequencies here. So there is a shift taking place that is happening far faster or quicker than it has ever in humanity because this is a time we're coming to a point where we're seeing the breakdown of structures. Now Saturn coming in is very powerful because it says, okay, even though we need to get things done, Pisces brings in that watery element of intuition, compassion, kindness, right? So if there's a counterintuitive type of energy, a little bit of a dichotomy between the two, but if we can work together Hence, teamwork. This is a big thing here. Teamwork on governing agencies, global agencies, but most importantly, within the relationships that we have as other, with others, with our family, with our friends, with our neighbors, with strangers, right? Teamwork is such a high emphasis. And then it brings us to another topic, which I'll probably do a collective video on in due time is artificial intelligence. Now we have to remember that artificial intelligence is learning from us as humans. How are we doing in this category? How are we doing when it comes to teaching and loving and showing compassion to thy neighbor? right? This is about teamwork and coming together because realizing that we are one, we are part of this higher collective, this greater collective where we don't need to single each other out or single ourselves out because there is no separation. That's just part of this duality that we've come to believe here on earth, but we need to come together here. And that's something that Saturn and Pisces are going to teach us to do. So whatever challenges that you've had in family dynamics that's maybe been passed through the bloodline generation upon generation you may notice this is the not just the year but i would say here the mission you may notice that this is a strong mission for you is to heal some family dynamics for others of you this is some structures around abundance wealth and money for others of you this is addiction mental health physical health this can be emotional health, right? There are going to be many, many areas that show up in our lives that are being heightened at this time to heal, to evolve, so we can sharpen our skills, so we can bring in self-mastery. The tarot that I'm getting here is the Eight of Pentacles, the Emperor, combined with the Magician and a little bit of that Empress, because remember that Magician impregnates that Empress with ideas, with expansion, with growth. And we are living in a world where now more than ever, we are raising the feminine frequencies. We've lived in such a masculine dynamic here on earth where we are rolling into that beautiful feminine energy. And this is about doing the inner work, going within, showing that unconditional love, for not just the earth, but ourselves and for others. So teamwork is strong. This is about co-creation, coming together, helping hand, supporting each other, group efforts, right? Teaching others, helping someone up. Instead of judging, instead of criticizing, instead of pointing a finger, how can we help? How can we reach out and grab a hand for someone who needs it? instead of letting them suffer in silence or letting them suffer on their own? How can we be better as a, a humanity, right? How can we better ourselves and uplift this frequency? A little deep, I know, but this retrograde it, in Saturn is teaching us to sharpen those skills. So Saturn is all about hard work. There's no shortcuts. 
So some of you that have been wanting to manifest your dreams, but you were hoping that it was going to be a, a get rich quick, or you're hoping that that fantasy was just going to appear and boop, uh, dippity doop, right? Your, uh, the love of your life would just fall right in place here. Uh-uh. This is showing you that you have to put in that work and that effort. Now, a lot of you already have. A lot of you have been doing that. And if you have and you're feeling good with where you are going on track here and you're getting yourself on track, Saturn doesn't have to be this negative thing. It can be about reflecting. Are you on track with your priorities, right? Are you disciplined to make those dreams come true? Are you willing to build a strong structure? Or some of you are going to see the tower moments happening where that structure needs to fall to the wayside in order for you to rebuild something solid and secure within, without, right? It is all about karma. So what you put out there, you're going to get back. If you're not willing to help someone else, including your own self, it may be a challenge, it may be a little bit difficult, right? When it comes to authority, how can you step into your power? How can you step into your gifts? We have spiritual gifts here, which is about gratitude. It is about surprises. It's about celebrations. And it is about you honing in on those gifts that you have because you've come here to use them. And it's important that you do not hide them. Don't dim your light to fit in. Right? Don't dim your gifts because you're afraid of criticism or rejection. Don't not start that business or don't not tell that person you love them because you're afraid of rejection, abandonment, failure. If you've come to this lifetime to heal some of those generational wounds of abandonment or addi addiction or rejection or whatever they may be in your family line or your cycle or whatever soul lessons or karmic patterns that you may feel is replaying out, your spiritual gifts are coming in here to help you. And a lot of you, you already know what they are, right? It can be being able to reach through to people on a different level than most. It could be the gift of communication, the gift of negotiation, the gift of healing with your hands, the gift of writing a book where you're able to reach people on a global level and help them understand their own spiritual gifts. You may be spiritual teachers, influencers. It could be that you are breaking the generational patterns that happen so your children can live a better life, right? It is about you helping lift the vibration of the planet, right? Using those gifts. And a lot of you are diving more and more into the spiritual realm. The veil is thinning. You're able to communicate and connect. You're able to trust your intuition more now than ever because you have this innate built-in ability to see through things that you weren't able to see through before. So if something feels icky or sticky, instead of fight or flight, right, you're going to take a look at it head on and you're going to say, why am I feeling this way? Why is this happening? How can I break this cycle? You're going to face towards fear and you're going to use fear as your ally, as your best friend, right? How can I strengthen my resolve by heading towards this instead of running away from it? right? False evidence appearing real. When you realize that something may be an illusion or maybe it's false evidence and you explore it a little bit further, you can shatter that illusion. You can shed light to that dark and then that dark ceases to exist. That's what you're doing and that's how a lot of you are using these spiritual gifts. We have detox showing up here. This is about eliminating yourself from toxicity, whether that's a person, place, or thing. But first, in order to realize and understand toxicity, you must go towards it. And you must say, what is the underlying issue here? Why is this toxic to me? Because it may be toxic for you, but it may not be toxic for someone else, right? You may get into a relationship where it is a toxic pattern, a cycle, karma. Maybe you've attracted someone who resembles your, your father or an old pattern, right? But maybe that same person would be in a relationship with someone else and there wouldn't be toxicity, so is there something that needs to, to heal? Is there something that you are breaking? Is there a lesson to learn? So if you can dive into it, do a little bit of that research, that's what Saturn brings about. It says, okay, we want to sharpen these skills. In order to sharpen them, you must become a self-mastery. And self-mastery isn't a one-way stretch. It's not about getting to this goal. It is about failing over and over and over again, but getting up each time and trying it in a new way or trying again and not giving up. It's determination. It is strength. It is spiritual strength, 
It's using those gifts, paying attention to what's happening within, right? This is all about you taking a look and seeing what isn't good for me. When it comes to sugar cravings, when it comes to addictions, when it comes to putting things into your body, meats or, you know, specific foods, processed foods, this is going to really shift in the next three years. Saturn is coming in saying, how do you feel? How can you sharpen your mind? And it's not by eating or drinking or putting into your body, which includes relationship dynamics that are based on lower frequencies because it's going to cloud us. And Saturn isn't cloudy. Saturn's a, a I'm just going to get her done, get her done type of energy, right? Emperor. And I do feel here that this is the time for you to take a look. So some of you that have struggled with weight, some of you that have struggled with that mental health, uh, those of you that have struggled with addictions, physical health as well, diet, this is time for you to cleanse, release, have that healthy body and mind because we're, we are all going to need it with where we want to go. That's the only way to move forward is if we can raise our frequencies. Otherwise, we're going to see a lot of people choosing Choosing to go in this direction or choosing to, you know, exit. Exit because they're not willing to do the work. And Saturn's going to have us do the work here. And a lot of you watching, you're willing to do the work. Even if you say, Melissa, I've been doing it. I'm tired. You wouldn't be here checking in with yourself, checking in with your soul, listening to this video if you weren't spiritually inclined to keep going forward. Now, yes, there's been soul lessons, right? Karma, we just talked about that. Saturn's all about that karma. You reap what you sow. You put out what you get. Even if you messed up in the past, there's a second chance here. Even if you've done harm upon someone else or you've self-sabotaged in your own ways, it doesn't make you an evil person. It doesn't mean that you should beat yourself up your whole entire life. It means you pick yourself up, you dust off, you learn from that soul lesson, and you try to do better the next time around. Because this is about inner growth. It is about karma, past life, wisdom, strength, learning, so you can be able to teach others as well. This is soul lessons, and this is part of why we come here. And sometimes we do, we carry that cell memory from lifetime to lifetime. We carry some karmic patterns, karmic debt, relationships, health anything of that nature, but when we're able to dive into that inner growth, we're able to heal and we're able to raise the vibrations. And when we're all willing to do that together, boom, earthly celebration right there. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to move towards. What else do we have here? Clarity. We talked about this as well because a lot of us have been wearing that blindfold and that blindfold has come off, especially in 2020, right? Especially with COVID, with coming into a collective energy of shutting us down to the world. It forced us to go within. It forced us to take a look at the relationships that we have with our children, with our partners, with our family. It forced us to take a look at our relationships with mankind. Right? This is all about truth and solutions, finding solutions, but also hidden truths coming to the surface. And Saturn says, sorry, sorry, if you've been hiding something, whether it's your own truth or whether you've been de deceiving yourself or someone's been deceiving you, you're going to see right through that BS. And this is about you finding solutions, being able to meditate, come into a sense of awareness where you seek the answers to gain the direction in that path that you want to head towards, that we all want to head towards. A lot of you are working with quartz. Quartz is a healer. It is an attractor. It is an amplifier. Some of you are working near water, with water. Okay, you may be called to be near the water more. Drink more. Stay hydrated. The energy here of water is important. And when we think about how scarce water is in specific locations, this is something that we need to find solutions for. There's plenty. There's plenty on this Mother Earth to help us all be self-sufficient and survive and drink healthy water. But it's up to us. You know, we as humans, what do we do with that, right? What do we do with it? So we're going to see shifts when it comes to water, when it comes to electricity, when it comes to anything hidden, you know, self-sufficiency. Hopefully we start to see more self-sustainability through homegrown items and farming and health. The industry of health and artificial intelligence, again, is something on a level that is just mind-blowing. 
but it's up to us as human, you know, hum, humanity and that collective consciousness on how to raise the vibration together in order to move in the direction that we all want to see. And it begins with this truth, staying true to our souls, to ourself, to our higher good, our higher purpose. Not letting any of these egotistical, lower vibrational frequencies of greed and power and all that stuff you know, bring us or hold us back because that's what we're seeing the truth about. What else do we have here? The great outdoors. And we just talked about water as well. But this is about nature, getting back to nature. This is about us spending time outdoors. But we're going to see a lot of shifts when it comes to the great outdoors. We already have. We've seen earthquakes. We've seen wildfires. We've seen things happen in our waters. Right? We've seen things above and beyond, and we're going to see them, those shifts happening as well. But we need, to, we need to support Mother Earth the best that she can, because it feels at times she's falling apart, right? Or there's this destruction coming in. This is about wide open spaces, creating more space, not just in the physical. Because we've come into this time and day and age where everything is a hustle, right? We have to hustle, hustle, hustle. We eat on the go. We talk on the go. We text and drive. We can't even sit and have a face-to-face -face conversation because we're checking an email. There's such a fast-moving energy that we need to slow it down a little bit and come back to ourselves and connect. There's this energy here of gaining solitude, spending time hiking, spending time unplugging, camping, spending it in nature, grounding your energy. That's what we need to do to have this sense of clarity even more so, right? We need to come together. There's going to be events that happen that bring us together is what I'm sensing as well. And we're going to see it happening where, for example... Perhaps in the location that you live in, maybe you've only seen um, a level, I don't even know the different levels, but maybe like a level two hurricane. Maybe that's the only thing that's ever uh, happened in your area and you're going to see things blowing off the charts. Now, I'm not saying this to scare you, but I am saying that there are shifts going on because this is a literally uh, an emotional yet spiritual energy shift going on behind the scenes that we can't see but it's manifesting in the physical because this foundation is breaking down because we need to do things differently we need to build on a more strong solid firm foundation that we're going to see these physical effects of things happening as well because we are shifting and the energy of the, the earth is shifting in the way that we are putting that energy out as well even though she's hit 5d and a lot of us are hit, hitting 5d we're already there right the earth doesn't need us necessarily to, how do I put that? I don't want to say to survive. She knows what she needs to do to survive, but it's up to us to, to grow along with it, right? It's up to us to grow along. It's our choice, our, our free will. We can choose to stay in this energy here of, you know, chaos and destruction and all of those things that we see, or we can choose to evolve and have this world become a better place. That's where the breakthrough comes in. This is about realizations, discovery, victory, advancement. This is about epiphanies and moments of truth. So we can see that, yes, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, it seems chaotic everywhere we turn, right? On all different levels, physically, emotionally, spiritually. There's a, it feels at times, right? Like spiritual warfare going on, right? There's a lot going on here in the collective, but we are, I feel are going to have a breakthrough, right? We're going to have this breakthrough and it's going to reach billions, right? Eight billion people on this planet. It's going to reach billions. So this is a powerful, powerful energy here. Next, we have finances. Again, we've mentioned this in the beginning. The financial structures are breaking down, but in our own personal lives, this is a new age. We're in the age of Aquarius. We're in the age here of using mental thought, hence AI and, you know, digital currencies, things of that nature. How can we integrate and how can we embrace? And when it does come to, again, artificial intelligence, it's learning what we teach it. What are we teaching AI about finances? I want you to take a deep dive into your belief system at this time. Do you think money is evil? If you think money is evil, what do you think we're teaching AI? 
right? So when we can take a look at our own interpersonal belief systems around money, that's it is an energy. Everything here on earth is an energy. And when we can start to look at it as that energy exchange and that process of what you are putting out there, what kind of energy are you putting towards this, then that's what we're going to see and get back in return. And when this comes to business, when this comes to career, when this comes to you healing your own wealth, your own finances, make sure that that belief system that you have is strong and secure within yourself. Instead of saying there's a lack of right? Instead of saying that there's scarcity, there's poverty consciousness, yes, which we've seen, but it doesn't have to be that way, right? This is about having that abundance mindset, savings, assets. We see bankings. There's going to be payouts. There's going to be, you know, fortune here. There is investments, new income sources. This is a new way of doing things because if we cannot go on with the old, you remember your grandfather's grandpa who maybe worked on a farm or worked 20 hours a day just to support and put food on the family? We are not wanting to head in that direction, right? It is a, a new age for us to work smarter, not harder. What does that look like for you? So I challenge you, beautiful ones, to take a look and see how you can work smarter, how you can use your intelligence, how you can use the resources that we have available at our fingertips, right? How we can dive into living that life that we want for ourselves and be compensated for it. There are so many new ways. This is the a bigger time ever in history for us to become entre entrepreneurs, for us to be leaders for us to do our own side thing, for us to grow and to be happy and to bring abundance, living in our soul's truth, being inspired, being inventive, being creative. Whatever it is that you want to do, it's time for you to go for it. Go all in. Don't half-ass it, right? If you want to do it, Saturn says, this is time for you to do it because if you do go halfway, there's no shortcuts, right? There's no shortcuts. You're going to go back to the drawing board. That's what Saturn in retrograde is all about. If something is not working when it comes to finances, we need to go back to the drawing board. I really, it annoys me when people say history repeats itself. Yes, we, we've seen that. But the reason history repeats itself is because we, we as a collective choose to keep doing the same damn thing over and over. What's that definition of, right? Insanity. We keep doing the same thing over and over and yes, history will repeat itself, but we do not have to. We can choose a different direction. We can choose with the knowledge that's available, with this veil thinning, thinning more and more than it ever has. We have access to tuning into our higher selves, to our consciousness, to shifting that collective frequency, to heading towards a new beginning, to increasing your finances, to having enough to go around. Why are some people paying $20,000 for a spoonful of caviar when this person over here doesn't have enough money to go to detox, right? The imbalance is insane. So we need to rebuild that structure. We need to be able to create more abundance for everyone, not just pick and choose. Now, I'm not saying your hard work is going to pay off. And yes, there's going to be people that make more money, but the way in which it is done and the structures and the favoritism and the judgments and the criticism and the power and the greed, that is what's shifting here. So I'm telling you and giving you permission. Spirit is giving you permission to go all in. Chase those dreams. Build your finances. But also remember to share. Share that love. Share that knowledge. Share that money if you're able to do so. Spread the wealth and know that it is an energy exchange. Next we have spiritual toolbox. This is what we are tuning into, right? This is you watching this video here, collective energy here of tarot and oracle and divine channel messages is part of your spiritual toolbox. Maybe this is a practice, a habit, a routine. Thank you so much. I appreciate and love every single one of you that have come here and I'm beyond grateful for you feeling inspired enough to stay here and listen. It, it, it brings in more emotion and more gratitude than I hope you'll, you, you can feel it, but the spiritual toolbox here is all about you using those tools that are in that tool belt, right? You have access to it at all times. 
Whether it is you meditating, whether it's you saging, using tarot or oracle, using your crystals, meditating, creating that sacred space for yourself, using runes, whatever this is here, raise your self-awareness. You have the answers within you as well. Because remember, you're one. I'm one. We are all combined. We're all collective energy here. We are not separate. I am not the only one that has access to this spiritual toolbox to be giving you this information. You have this information within, right? And what this all amounts to, what this all is all about is this final outcome here, which is personally my favorite card. By the way, this is the intuitive soul oracle for those of you that are interested. It's in the link in the description box. This is like the sun card in tarot. It's all about creating heaven on earth. It is all about bringing more happiness, not searching externally for that happiness, not feeling like happiness is the destination, right? Like the land before time, the dinosaurs are searching for that happiness. Yes, does that exist, right? Just like in the movie Land Before Time, they go searching for that tree star. That tree star is within them all along. That's guiding their light, right? That is their light within but it's that journey. And yes, the journey has been difficult at times for you, but we can create this heaven on earth. We can have more of this sunshine, more of this joy, this wish fulfillment, this freedom, right? This freedom. This is about saying yes to your life. I love this energy here. Whew, this is intense. I knew this one was going to be, but when I asked spirit, okay, spirit, what do we need to talk about on the collective immediately? I was getting here uh, planetary alignments and the energy of us raising our frequencies, which has to do with, you know, the planet shifts, you know, Saturn in retrograde. Uh, we don't nearly pay enough attention. I mean, some of us do, right, to the moons, the tides, uh, the what's going on in the, the global energy. Now, I'm not into news. I don't read uh, too much about what's what's happening. I hear, hear things, of course, but I tune in collectively. Uh, I do tune in uh, more so spiritually than anything else, but I, you don't need to be a rocket science to figure out that there's these things shifting on a, on a global level. Now let's take a look for each and every sign, and this is going to be quick, quick for you. So we'll go through here, starting with Aries all the way to Pisces. I'm going to let you know which, what house uh, is being affected here or what it means for your sign specifically when the Saturn comes into retrograde. And we'll pull one card for each, starting with Aries here. And Aries, this is, the Saturn is affecting your, your house regarding closure and forgiveness. This is closure, forgiveness, healing, could be family. It's about reflecting on maybe uh, people who have harmed you, people have disappointed you. So you're going to see here between June and November, this is all about gaining that closure and forgiving. And your advice here is the Ace of Wands. Your advice is to be motivated to have this new beginning. In order to have this new beginning, you must release, you must gain some sort of closure because there was, there's no use in delaying. The inevitable there's no use in delaying some sort of healing that is ready to take place take place and take uh progress for some of you this is forgiving yourself forgiving yourself for letting you get to possibly a place that was less than ideal but knowing that you can start again look at her she's starting again here at this line and she's ready she has that determination she has that strength and that motivation to keep on going aries Again, I suggest you, uh, you can take advice from all of these signs, of course, because believe it or not, when you do a breakdown of your birth chart, most of us have a lot of these signs in different areas. So if you do know your birth chart, you may want to take notes because this can affect you in certain areas as well. Taurus, this is affecting your house of community and teamwork, which you have. We have teamwork showing up here, and this is a very powerful time for teamwork. So if you don't feel like you are supported, if you don't feel like you have a team, this is a time for you to reflect and reevaluate. How can I switch that up? Nine of Cups is your card. Beautiful. Wish fulfillment. So again, teamwork making that dream work, even though it may have been difficult for you in the past, this is a time for you to have those wishes granted. But because it is reversing, it may be at times empty promises. You may be part of a team or a person may dish you out empty promises. That's challenging for you. That is difficult. And it's time for you to 
to raise your vibration, to forgive, and to reach towards that support and that teamwork that can really help you out in times of challenges. Gemini, this house or this Saturn is affecting your house of career. So if some of you have struggled with finances or with career, you have here the Page of Cups. If you've lost motivation when it comes to career, this is about you going back to that drawing board. What do I want to do? How can I move forward? If you lost that motivation, it's time to regain that new sense of excitement. Go back to the drawing board. What makes you happy? What excites you? Right? What are your beliefs? How can you move forward? How can you create more income or new income? How can you believe in yourself? What is your belief around money and finances? So Gemini, Page of Cups is all about a brand new opportunity that brings you emotional fulfillment. Say yes to life. Say yes to that career opportunity because there is a little bit of a lack of belief or lack of motivation when it comes to that area. And this is time for you to reassess, reevaluate, and move forward. All right, Cancer, this affects your your house of travel for a lot of you cancerians it's all about travel and you have the two of coins now we typically with the two of coins want to set priorities but because saturn is going retrograde your priorities may feel like you need to reassess them again go back to the drawing board uh, some of you if there were travel plans maybe you've always wanted to take some of you may find that trips don't turn out as planned uh, because something better is calling for you. Okay, double check documents, double check. Maybe some of you may have miles that were unused or maybe you didn't realize you had them. There could be bonuses, incentives, offers. Do your research. Uh, make sure you're, you're setting yourself up in a timely fashion. Some of you are opening up business or pleasure when it comes to travel. But this is a great opportunity to reassess those priorities. Set a bucket list. Where do you want to travel? If your gypsy soul is activated and calling for you to go in that direction, then, then go forward. Because Saturn says, bring those dreams to reality, right? Discipline yourself. Save enough money for you to go do that. To, to travel wherever you want. Set a boundary. Set some sort of structure. Take a look at your money. Is this the area you can go towards? Go do it is what Saturn pushes you to do. All right. What else do we have? Leo. Leo, this house affects you intimately. This is all about secrets and sex. Let's take a look. Intimacy, secrets, and sexual relations. Let's see. For Leo here... Thank you, Spirit. For Leo, we have the Queen of Wands, which is that fiery energy, which you are fire. This is all about confident ambition. Instead of fearlessly or fearfully yearning for that love, for that intimacy, some of you, this is fearing some sort of secret, mystery, things of that nature. This is about you being bold, being confident, regaining that sense of ambition. Now, sometimes when that Queen of Wands is in that reverse, which I'm, I'm reading both the energies here because retrograde can cause you to look into the shadow aspect of each of these cards. The Queen of Wands, she can be insecure. She can be jealous. For some of you, when it does come to intimacy, there's a lot of jealousy. Okay, this uh, Queen of Wands, she can be egotistical. She can come on very strong. She can be very intimidating. She can be very catty, gossipy, or jealous. So if you carry any of these traits or you know anyone that carries those traits, Leo, this is all about you overcoming and bringing yourself back to that upright, positive version of the Queen of Wands who's bold and wise and attractive and magnetic and she inspires others because she's living in such high frequency and that she has that fiery determination within her to take action. She's creative, she's strong, she's confident, she's the entrepreneur. So this is about you regaining that sense of self-confidence if it has been lost in any of those areas. All right, Virgo, what do we have, Virgo? So Virgo, this, this area affects your house of partnerships and personal connections. So what do we have for Virgo? Saturn is affecting your house of partnerships and connections. For Virgo, we have the King of Coins, King of Pentacles, this is you. Beautiful. So this is about you securing that abundance because you may feel like there's weakened security. You feel like you don't quite have firm footing when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your health, when it comes to your money. 
because pentacles are all about material gains but losses so some of you are dealing with debts during this retrograde some of you are dealing with that poverty conscious belief okay some of you are working on regaining that sense of stability when it comes to your money so again go back to the drawing board take a look at the beliefs that you have around finances what you do for a living how you make a living some of you may really rely too much on what other people think of you this is the time for you to release that judgment that criticism or those projections because what do I always say? What other people think of you is none of your business, right? King of Pentacles. This is about working smarter, not harder. And we've talked about that here. Libra, Libra, what do we have for you? Libra, this is affecting your health and fitness. Saturn is right in your house of health and fitness. We have the detox here. So let's take a look at health and fitness for you, Libra. Ooh, okay. Five of Wands resolving conflict. I love that this is showing up. So it's in the reverse, the reversal or the, the flip side here of the five of wands is yes, things have been, there's been friction. Okay. There's been conflict, but the beauty and the blessing here all combined in one Saturn is strict. Saturn makes you do the work. So if there has been friction in any of those areas of health, whether that's physical, mental, fine, uh, spiritual, emotional, whether it's your body, phys uh, physical or fitness, this is time for you to push, 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 right? It's time for you to overcome, speak to a professional. This is for all of you watching as well. Work with professionals at this time. If you've been trying to do it yourself or you have that, that stubbornness or that independence about you that says, sorry, I can do this myself. I don't need help. Right? This is about connecting with a healer, a therapist, an advisor, someone who can help you shift this energy. Okay? Because remember, we are one. You are me and I am you. Really, if we go deeper, some of you are like, Melissa, what are you talking about here? But on a collective level, there is no separation. Right? You're a spark of the divine. I'm the spark of the divine. We just branched off to have our own individual human experience. But it doesn't mean that we are separate. Now you're going to, you've come face to face here with some of your biggest challenges here, Libra. And this is going to, yes, cause friction, but you're going to push through that friction. And what comes from friction, right? Imagine rubbing two sticks together. Yes, it takes dedication. It takes energy. It takes a little bit of all of the elements, right? You need that force. You need that wind to create that fire. And I sense that that's what you're doing here. You're rubbing something together to create that spark. And I feel like you have what it takes. All right. We have here Scorpio. This Saturn affects your house of romance and fame. Romance and fame. Five of coins in reverse here. Five of coins is about recovering your sense of stability, your health, your finances. Because again, coins represent finances, material gains and losses, your health, your body. So if you felt like everything was destroyed, I really... The depiction on this card is just phenomenal here in a in a way that it's it's almost bittersweet you can see that it looks like a tornado or a hurricane came in like a wrecking ball right five of coins everything has been taken away from him in this physical world and scorpio some of you are trying to regain that sense of balance you're recovering stability because there's been a hard misfortune in your life and it's caused a lot of you to want to give up at times but you're stronger than you think and this saturn is going to hold you accountable to rebuilding because you're strong enough to do so. So very powerful energy. Some of you have went through debt. You've went through foreclosure. You've lost your homes. You've lost your family. You've lost your health. You've lost a limb or a finger or a toe or a leg. A lot of you have overcome a lot. Uh, you've lost a lot in the physical sense, but this is about you going inward and you doing the work to rebuild that sense of stability, whatever that may be for you. All right, Sagittarius. This Saturn is affecting your area of home and family. Home and family. Sad, you are the first one to get three out here. Four of Cups. Four of Cups is all about regretting decisions of the past. Regret, right? Four of Cups can be that energy of comparing. It can be arrogance. It can be wasting energy on the past. Wasting it on, you know, you can see here that there's been spilled wine, 
When the Four of Cups shows up, it can be self-absorbed, depressed. It can be needing to reach out. So the fact that this is affecting your home and family, some of you felt like you've you've been on a, a lose-lose, right? You, you feel like you got drawn the short end of the stick, but the Two of Wands says it's time to reassess those priorities when it comes to home and family. Look at the foundations, break the cycles, take a look at the patterns. How can you rise above? How can you start a new journey, a new path? How can you break something generational that's been going on? By going inward, listening to your intuition, not comparing, right? Not comparing your life. Why does this person have it better than me? Why is my path so hard? Remember, beautiful Sages, life is happening for you, not to you. And home and family may have been difficult, but this is about you trusting your intuition and staying in that energy of self-love and compassion. This is about you choosing to become better, not bitter. Because remember, that in itself is a free will choice. You can become better or bitter. The choice is yours. Capricorn, this Saturn retrograde is affecting your communication, your throat chakra. So sometimes words can come out a little bit bitter, a little bit arrogant. Uh, so pay attention to those words. Sometimes they can come across as harsh, but there's something here with speaking your truth, but delivering it in a way that holds power, holds power in a positive way, not a dagger, right? So let's take a look here. Capricorn, Eight of Cups. Yeah, switching up your your routine, paying attention to the way that you talk to yourself, right? Because your body hears everything that you say to it. The universe hears what you say. If you are filled with self-doubt, Capricorn, and you're saying, I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy enough, I'm not pretty enough, I'll be single forever, uh, I'm, I'm bad at this, I'm stupid, I'm unworthy, Right? If you tell yourself this over and over and over, that's what you're going to start to believe. Therefore, that is what you will manifest. We don't want to manifest that for you because we know that those are all illusions. Yeah, maybe one time you said something silly. Maybe over here you would have made a different choice. Maybe over there you said something that was less than ideal. We are, after all, having a human experience. You are way too hard on yourself. And we tend to hold ourselves back because of that pain, that conditioning, or because of our own decisions. We tend to hold ourselves up. The Eight of Cups is urging you to move on. Speak your world into being because your, your routine needs a shakeup. And Saturn is coming in here to shake up your world. Because what are you walking towards? Your Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment, Capricorn. All right, Aquarius, when it comes to money and budgets, Money and budgets, that's what Saturn is affecting for you, Aquarius. Money and budgets. I hope I'm not missing anyone. Hopefully not. I think we're good. But money and budgets, what do we have here for Aquarius? The tower, it's in reverse. This is a needed transition when it comes to your money. Okay, when it comes to the way that you view money, you perceive money, physically, your career, you may be wanting to move on. You may be wanting to start a completely new uh, career, a lot of you wanting to retire, some of you want to get a handle on your money, okay, so this is going to affect you in a powerful way, the tower is huge, but I like the tower showing up for you, because that's what Saturn is all about, going back to the drawing board, starting again, but you're not starting from scratch, you're starting from wisdom, the tower shows up because there's a needed transition, because something has been difficult for you, in order for you to walk towards more peace and more serenity, there needs to be a rebuild, and that's where you are headed here, Aquarius. So money and budget. It can be the way you perceive money. It can be how you uh, possibly, some of you borrowed money. There could be something regarding uh, payout, payoff. Uh, it could be recovering or recouping from lost money. Please take that as it resonates. Last but not least, Pisces. This is Saturn retrograding in your sign. So this is all about you. Reevaluating. Are you on par with where you want to be? Are you in that relationship that is aligned with your soul's truth, that is bringing in peace and happiness? Or are you attracted to this person because they mirror or resemble a past conditioned experience, maybe brought on by childhood, maybe your own father, or because you feel like you have to settle to be with this person because of something conditional? Right? Are we in a job or a career that we love, that we want to embrace, that we are growing, that we are using our skills and our gifts and our talents, and that we are being seen, heard, and understood and compensated for? 
Are you feeling good within your body, within your mind, within your soul? These are all questions, Pisces, that you are going to ask yourself during this retrograde because whatever is not lining up, you're going to face, right? It's time for you to detox. It's time for you to get back on track. And, and Saturn is going to force you to do so here. Because what Saturn wants is for you to head towards the sun. This is beautiful. Instead of dampened joy, because that joy is available, but instead of it being dampened, instead of throwing that water in a negative way on it, you want to light that up. You want to light up your world so you can feel abundance, so you can spend time living in the now, not in the past, right? You want to be able to spend time feeling good, enjoying the life that you have here on earth and doing things differently. So we don't have, you know, any karma moving into the next life, or we don't have unfinished lessons or regrets, or when we are laying on our deathbed, that we don't say, I wish I would have done that, right? Right? This is about you living life to your fullest, not half-assing it like we talked about earlier, but Saturn retrograde here in your sign is going to have you put in that work to make those dreams a reality. It's going to put in more discipline towards achieving these goals for yourself than you ever thought possible. It is going to mature you up in a way that you never thought. It is going to bring about a sense of authority and empowerment within you that you didn't feel was possible so you can reach this level of the sun. I love this. Do you guys see this energy here of how we've ended the main overall energy with the bliss card, which I said is like the sun, and then Pisces being the last sign here is also the sun. What a beautiful confirmation from spirit. Very deep reading. I hope you all followed along and even paid attention to the other signs as well. Because like I said, I don't want to, it's not singled out. Even though, yes, we all have a sun sign. It's important to pay attention to your sun sign, but it's important as well to look into your rising and look into your moon and look into other placements as well, because everything commingles together. We are all one, right? All right. Last but not least here, let's get a couple of cards from the soul truth just to see what questions you can sit with to help you shift consciousness. What do you need to know at this time, beautiful ones? What do you need to know at this time? We're just going to go with one, just the one. What excuses am I making right now? And this, I have to chuckle here because Saturn is going to, Come right up to your face and look you in the eye, almost like a drill sergeant, and say, what excuses are you making? And Saturn is going to look right at you and say, no more waiting. There's never a good enough time because that time is now. So today is soul action. If it's important enough to you, you will find a way. And Saturn pushes you to find what that way is. Today, make a decision and do it. Even if you feel, even if you don't feel ready, listen to your heart and you will be led. And there's that Pisces energy here of water, of emotion, right? Listening to the heart. Because again, Saturn and Pisces can flow together. Even though there can be a little bit of a clash, this makes perfect sense to wrap up this reading. So I love this for you. I hope you all enjoyed this reading. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It certainly helps get the divine channel messages out there and we all need it we all need it so please hit that thumbs up comment i would love to hear your comments in the boxes below let me know as well if you feel that energy of whatever whatever themes we had in your specific house for example gemini yours was career let me know if that rings true for you right virgo if this is affecting your connections let me know how it's affecting the connections Right, Scorpio, if this has to do with romance and fame, let me know. Drop it in the comment box below. And if you're vibing with the energy of this channel and you haven't already hit that subscribe and bell button, please do so. Thank you so very much for spending your precious time here. Lots of love.